Hey guys, what is up today? iOS 8.1 was released. Now, uh, this features many of the changes that Apple showed off in the developer conference earlier this year. Uh, some of them were delayed to the 8.1 iteration. Like Apple Pay, which is a really interesting feature that allows you to turn your phone uh, into an NFC wallet, along with uh, text message relaying uh, for your computer and um, additions to iCloud and the storage you can use on it. So if you want to get text messages on your computer relayed through your phone, you're going to want to enable that by going to Messages, Text Message Forwarding, and then just adding your Mac, and that will uh, put you through the verification process to make sure you're on the correct Mac. And once you do that, all your annoying friends with green text bubbles will finally be synced over to your computer. So that's a really cool advancement. And secondly, I'm going to be going over Apple Pay. So setting up Apple Pay is actually really simple. All you gotta do is go to the Passbook application and then hit the little plus button on the side, then scan one of your cards by taking a picture of it, enter the CVC which is on the back of the card, and then you have your card like this. Now Apple Pay will work with a tons of uh, retailers. I'll have a list, a link in the description. I'll be showing a graphic that Apple did at WWDC. All those are available to go to the store, any of them I believe and you can pay with your phone. Now it also works with pretty much every NFC device so if you have one of those blinking things on your register or something like that you can use it with it and today I went over to my school's um, vending machine and tried it and while it took me a few tries because the vending machine was a little bit complicated it did work and I'll be showing you a little clip from that. The last thing I want to talk about on 8.1 is unlocking and jailbreaking. Now there has been very little progress on any new jailbreak, so upgrading to 8.1 should be fine given that there are no exploits that are being burned or anything like that. So uh, no one has really spoken out, but it's uh, pretty much a guarantee that 8.1 will be fine. Uh, the only concern would be is if you use an emulator that requires the daytime bypass where you set your time back and then install a certificate because that is patched on 8.1 and any application most notably some of the most popular em emulator software will not work on 8.1. And the very last thing I want to talk about is Felon Locks, the website Tanner, Mispa, and I uh, just released. Now this is sort of an upgrade version of our last service uh, that was a while ago but since then the laws have changed and then changed back and now unlocking is perfectly legal. So, uh, so we decided to open it up again. So you can go to FileUnlocks.com, link in the description on either your phone or your computer, and order from us. Basically right now we have three plans only for AT&T, and the reason why that is is because we're just starting out. We want your input. So if you want your phone unlocked, uh, uh, enter in the carrier uh, that you'd be interested in purchasing an unlock for, and hopefully in the near future we'll add it. Uh, now, these unlocks are factory unlocks, meaning they go through the cell network themselves, and there's no way to obtain them for free, unfortunately. But the good side is they work on pretty much every iOS version, uh, and once unlocked, uh, it lasts for a lifetime, and there's no way to revert. Unlike all the previous software unlocks, which now don't only not exist, but they don't allow you to upgrade, and there's a million other problems. Uh, that people have had with them. So make sure to check out the website in the description. Easiest way to unlock your phone, especially on AT&T and many new carriers coming in the future. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, have fun with iOS 8.1. I'll see you guys later.